Michael from Backyard Creations Ferro Iron Works coming at you from driving down the road in uh, Club Founder Glenn Anderson's truck right now. Uh, out here flipping switches and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and uh, we're uh, head, got to head back out to town and pick up a few parts. Today I'm going to be building a grill. I've got an old uh, air tank. Uh, that I'm going to build a uh, charcoal grill out of. i uh, got probably going to have several videos in the series on this. Um, today we're just getting the basic grill built and uh, and dragon. <laughs> See y'all when we get back. Alright guys, um, we're back uh, finally. Uh, we are not in my shop. We are in uh, backyard creation shop number one. I've uh, marked off where I want to cut this tank. I'm going to not hinge the ends. I'm going to hinge, just do a hinge across the, fa uh, the face and keep this solid. Uh, this tank, it was welded in the middle, so it was hard to find a place to get a measurement from. So I've done this as straight as I can get it. I'm going to cut, some, uh, cut it open, and then we're going to get started making the inside of it. Uh, I need to cut these feet off and uh, we decided to keep the bungs facing up to use those as vents for the top and now only have to make a vents uh, for the charcoal in the bottom all right i'm gonna get into this and i'll be right back you can do ass. all right uh i'm gonna get the uh hinges put on we started cutting out uh the lid uh, I should have stopped before we went all the way across and welded the hinges on. Um, so that's just a note so it doesn't warp on you. But uh, always, if you got hinges that have uh, a coating on it, grind the coating off of it because that stuff is poisonous. You don't need to breathe it in. And uh, uh, the club founder is going to. Uh, weld these uh hinges on he said not to put them on youtube so y'all may not y'all may not get y'all may not get to see the welds all right we got this thing cut open and hinged um gonna have to do something with the vents so we're gonna use the bungs on the top for vents and they are so tight that uh the con the i keep wanting to say concrete the uh cast iron uh exploded so I'm just going to cut them off and then try to use a die grinder to cut them out and use them anyway. Use them because they're they look like once you cut the top off of them, you ought to be able to get the rest of it out. Maybe even break it out. So there's a little rust. Um, Glenn already got the rust out of it, pretty good. And um, we're going to make the uh, going and make the legs. Cut the legs out. Weld some. Weld it up and get the grill surface made up and try to get this thing wrapped up. All right, didn't get much uh, recorded while we were doing the work. I'm, I'm a long way from being finished. We're just gonna say this is version 1.0. Um, I still want to do a, a trim around the seal to help seal the lid. And I'm gonna take this bung out and replace the metal there. And um, there's a whole lot of things that need to be done. Uh, and I'm gonna do a different handle. This. This is just uh, to get it up and running. We actually have some people coming over and I'm trying to get this thing done where we can use it tomorrow. But I do have the grill done inside. Um, I'm gonna add expanded metal in the corners so that it's a complete piece of expanded metal across once the, um, the grill is pop in and out you'll those the pieces in the corners will just stay in the grill so um like i said i got a lot left to do um i want to make some uh a table out here kind of try to get the uh um uh, live edge look going on maybe a couple of slats across here try to find some wood locally that i can use for that but that's that's pretty much it um, and like I said, this is part one. There's going to be more to this because this is a long way from being done. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, see you later.